So I have here where I'm just making a very simple sales report. Um, you can see I have my assumptions right here. Um, I have my 2012 sales and what I'm going to say is that I expect my so each year my sales to increase by 15%. So the formula would be equals my previous year sales times 1 plus the rate that I expect my sales to increase by and I can refer to that cell. Okay. Now the reason why it's one plus this is by the way um this should not be dollars that should be percentage. So you can see 0.15 is equal to 15%. And our result is 115,000. Um so what we did there is I said again I'm going to enter it equals previous year sales that's 2012 sales times 1 plus our sales increase assumption for each year which is 15 percent so that's previous year sales 100,000 times 1 plus 0.15 and 1 plus 0.15 equals 1.15 if we were to only do it times 0.15 it would only give us 15,000 so we have to our sales are going to be the total amount of our previous year sales plus 15 percent another way I could enter this is equals 100,000 because that's what it's going to be plus previous year sales times our percentage of increase and we would get the same result um, I'll just go ahead and I'll stick with that instead of the one plus so that way we don't have anything hard coded in um, and now I can drag this formula over and our sales I'm now I'm making a mistake on purpose but that's to get um, getting to something okay so now I drag when I drag that formula over in cell D I drag the formula from cell C5 over to cell D5 using autofill it entered the same formula but it's referring to cells one cell over since we dragged it one cell over it's referring to cells one cell over so just as where I initially entered my formula here it's referring to cell B5 times um, or B5 plus cell B5 times cell B6 over here it's gonna do cell C5 plus cell C5 times cell C6 it's doing one over now you can see there is no increase and the reason why is because there's no content in cell C6 our percentage increase if I drag this over it'll change because it's referring to that cell okay but instead of us having to drag this all the way over and having our sales increase instead of doing that let's go ahead and get rid of this and just keep so you can see that could have worked but a better way to do it is to hit equals sales times one plus our sales increase close our parentheses now cell b6 select cell b6 and hit F4 on your keyboard and there enter you can see it inserted a dollar symbol before the column letter and a dollar dollar symbol before the row number and now we will drag this formula over and you can see that we get increases so what that did was it locked in in our formula our initial formula we said equals again equals B5 times 1 plus the content there and then we entered in the dollar symbol by hitting F4 or you can enter it manually um, now what we do is when we drag this formula over it's gonna drag cell B5 you know into D uh, 
whenever we drag our formula into cell D5, it's going to refer to cell B5 is going to turn into cell um, C5, but because we locked those, locked this cell reference in, because we hit the dollar symbols, it's locking this cell reference in. So no matter where we drag this, this part of the equation will always be cell B6. However, in these cells, it won't be. And there I'm referring to. You gotta hit enter. However, in these, all these other cells, it changes. And I'll show formula. Click on the formula tab, show formula, and you can see each formula. It just goes from B5 to C5 to D5 to E5. But because we locked those, put those dollar symbols in, it always refers to the previous cell times cell B6. See, referring to D5, the previous cell times 1 plus locked in B6. So now you kind of understand these cell reference a little bit better. Or I hope you do. Play with it. Okay, um, now I'm going to get into functions. Functions do all the calculations for us, so we really don't even need to enter um, operators unless we choose to combine operators with functions, which I do all the time. Okay, so I'm going to go over a few functions. Um, <clears throat> basically, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can manually enter in a function. Like I said, you always have to enter equals. And then there's going to be a prefix, which um, Excel has set um, to describe what function it's performing. So the first thing I'm going to do is a sum function for addition. And all you do is hit equals SUM, and then you open your parentheses. And um, then you need to enter in your arguments and you'll close your parentheses. Now, the sum function requires arguments. You can, uh, which, what I mean by argument is it requires you to say that number one plus and another number to find the sum. It requires you to, to give it numbers that it needs to find the sum of, and those numbers are the arguments. So you can see no arguments, and there we have a problem. Okay, so I understand that. So let me enter in my arguments. Each argument needs to be separated by a comma. So there, I'm finding, my, there's my three arguments. I'm going to find the sum of cell C2, cell D2, and cell E2. And there's my um, sum, my result. Now I can also, since those are all next to each other, I could just select the entire range, and Excel will know that I want to find the sum of that range of cells and it works but you can't find the you can't use a range of cells for all arguments and basically what I'm getting at is all of these arguments for the most part require different types of functions and different types of arguments now I'm going to show you how to enter um, enter functions there's different ways that you can enter and in, insert functions into a cell uh, you can use the insert function dialog box. So I'm going to introduce that to you now. You can insert function by clicking on the formulas tab, which I already have open, and you can click the insert function dialog box. Now here, you can browse functions, or you can search for functions by typing a description. So I want to add um, numbers together. So I'm going to type in a description of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the sum function. Add, I'm typing in add numbers together. And then I'm going to click go. And now a list of recommended functions will appear. And that looks like we found it on the top of the list, the sum function. So I click OK. And the sum function is um, already being inserted into that cell, but now it wants to know my arguments. I can move this box around, and I can select my arguments. If I want to refer to cells, number I can do it like I did before, number one, and then I can enter my second argument. This is just like I'm selecting it, separating them by commas. Argument number two, and you can see after I've selected my second argument that the boxes keep appearing. And argument number three, and no more arguments. And there it finds my sum. All right. So the sum, the different art, different functions require different arguments. The sum function has an indefinite amount of um, arguments. 